we're talking Oregon at Washington State. Now, these are two of my like favorite teams. I, I was a big Mike Leach Washington State fan, but I'm a huge Ducks girl as well. I know it's totally contradictory to what you're supposed to say when you root for sports, but this is how I do it. Oregon and that BYU game, that was a hum dinger is what that was. Now, Oregon is a minus six and a half. Ninety five percent of the cash is on them. Total on this is 57 and a half. What do you got going on here, Nick? Hey, guys, don't forget about our official sponsor, Caesar Sportsbook. For all new accounts, they're giving you up to $1,250 in a risk-free first bet. And win or lose, you get 1,000 reward credits and 1,000 tier credits added onto your account. All you've got to do is download the Caesar Sports Betting app and use the prom promo code WOODFUL. Or you can check out the description of this video and click on the link. Yeah, a little contrarian again here, but it's an interesting, you know, afternoon Pac-12 matchup. Yeah, Oregon's two and one straight up uh, and against the spread. As you mentioned, it hammered BYU 41 to 20 as a three and a half point favorite last week. And Washington State, it's three and oh straight up, uh, but just two and one against the spread uh, for betters. That includes last week's 38 to seven win over Colorado State. It was a 17 point favorite in that one. Now, in that win for Oregon over BYU, Bo Nix, he had 222 passing yards and two touchdowns. The Ducks, they averaged 38 points per game, uh, but their weakness is definitely on the defensive side of the ball. They're allowing 27.7, uh, but their ground game, it's totally potent for sure. It averages 205 yards per game so far this year. And Washington State, as I said, it beat Colorado State 38-7 to last week. It was a lopsided blowout. Cameron Ward, he had 299 passing yards and four touchdowns. Uh, these teams, I guess they're sort of polar opposites. Uh, so it's really going to be interesting. Washington State gets the job done on the defensive side of the ball. It only allows 12.7 points per game while averaging 26.3 of its own. Uh, and so, yeah, Oregon, it really relies on its run game alley. Uh, Washington State has yet to allow a rushing touchdown so far this season. Uh, personally, I just think the Ducks are getting too much respect here on the road. I think that this could be a sneak peek of a client play coming up here, Ali. But I like Washington State in the six and a half points. Uh, and maybe even consider sprinkling a little bit on the money line. But that's my play here. Grab the points and Washington State at home. Yeah, it feels like a big letdown spot, you know, and that with 80% of the cash on Oregon, it just, it doesn't seem like the line quite moved enough for me, but we'll wait to see what happens. I like where you're going with though, just that BYU game was a lot and I could see them getting let down on the road here, Washington State, go Cougs, taking yeah. them plus the six and a half. Exactly. All right, so everybody, don't forget to like and subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, and head over to picksandparlays.net. Find the insider's room and use the promo code NFL. It's going to save you 20% off whatever you grab from the insider's room.